Hello everybody, JT Bear here. We're back inside the greenhouse today. It's been kind of raining off and on a little bit outside there today, so it's kind of cool being able to get a nice uh, little bit of gardening done. And today, well right now, I am fiddling about with the fig, so check this out. For those of you who aren't subscribed to the Clean Valley Farms channel, it's one of the secondary channels, you really should subscribe, it helps out. But we picked up a fig tree here for uh, basically 20 bucks. And being me, I can't leave well enough alone, but I can, you know, leave this one main stem intact. What I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to take this side stem, and down at the bottom here, I'm going to try an air pruning, air cloning, I forget what it's called at the moment, and I'm going to take off a chunk from the top, and I'm going to try my standard, put it in the aquaponics and hope for the best. I don't think that fruit's going to make it out of this okay, but we can always hope. As an added bit of fun, picked up this big uh, self-watering pot from the Walmart. Let's take a look at that. Basically a much larger version of what I've been doing with the Folgers cans, so I see no reason why it shouldn't work. It's like Velcro in there. Whatever, as long as it wicks the water. You can get at it nice and easy from the side. So, you know, in theory, this should work just fine. If my coffee cans work, this should work. So since the fig's coming in for the winter, it seemed like uh, $8 was pretty good investment. For a $20 fig, we're still looking at 30 bucks. However, I've gotta go sip some compost before that's gonna uh, be able to be transplanted. So, I'll be right back with that. You don't need to waste your time watching me sift dirt. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got for roots here on this. Chicago hardy fig tree. Looks like I'm going to need to spread those out a little bit, but it's not terrible. Alright. Need two hands for the rest of this. I guess this container isn't really that much bigger, but it's bigger enough for now anyway. Good starting point. Still need some more soil, I think. Alright, well that was the easiest part of this whole adventure. Should be nice and simple to water. Easy grow, self-watering planters. Eight bucks, I figure, why not, right? I got two more of them. That brown one's kind of the medium size, it was five, and underneath the little blue pepper there, you can see the smallest, that one was three. Should be a good fit for the little blue anyway. Got the orange Fugo currently slated to go in the middle one. Not sure, not the focus of today's videos. Back over here. So, I'm just gonna water this in, and then we're gonna get to uh, trying to turn one fig tree purchase into three fig trees for the yard. All right, so the easiest way, and the first way we're gonna go about this, is I'm just gonna cut off a piece of this here, and, uh, well, I'll show you. And I'll take off the branches, and then I'm gonna skin this, probably up to about here before we stick it into the aquaponics. I'll show you that. Alright, so here we have the finished product for the aquaponic attempt. Shouldn't have, but I'm leaving the fig on there anyway. Got three leaves and I have skinned the base of this stem just down to the core, not uh, too far beyond. But I want to make it nice and easy for the roots to uh, get going. And then we're just gonna stuff it into the ponics. Right about there. And there it is. Here's to hoping that works, because that's nice and easy, and I'd be happy to do that many more times as the years progress to improve the collection of figs. Looks nice under those tomatoes, doesn't it? All right, now the other way I wanna try doing this is the uh, air layering, or air propagating, or air cloning, or lots of things they call it which is basically wrapping some dirt around the stem here after uh, exposing a little chunk of it again so the roots can get out nice and easy and hoping, you know, the roots form in there. If they do, you cut it off at the, the base here and in theory you've got yourself another fig tree, right? So, how am I going to pull that off becomes the question. Good idea or bad idea, I don't know yet, but what I'm doing here is I've just wrapped the leaf nice and tight around the stem and I'm stuffing it through the end of a two-liter bottle here so that I can get that 
down towards the base. It's much easier with two hands though, but I thought I'd show you what I'm doing. All right, not too bad. That one made it through all right as well. Now, you fill that with soil and uh, I don't know, cap it in some way, I guess. Well, may not be pretty, but I believe duct tape will do the trick here. All right, one more across the top and that's done. I guess I should water it first, then one more across the top and it's done. All right, well, watering that did not go well, but it's in a pretty humid environment. So hopefully that will be good enough. I'm sure I'll water it over the next few days, get more into it. Considering it was raining today, that compost wasn't really all that moist. But all right, fiddling with the fig, done for now. Chicago hardy fig tree. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? All right, everybody. I think that's it for now. I've got to go find out what the dogs are yammering about. Thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day.